Good morning, Plaza, Plaza Tigers. Tigers. It's a spectacular red day. day. Where are the floating heads? Well, kind of. Now let's, let's float, float it on over to the pledge. I'm Kieran from the Knights. And I'm Drew Irvin from the Heroes. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we're the floating heads. <laughs> all right, choir members, you remember, we, you guys meet today and you ha must have your own ride. There will be no intramural buses to pick you up. The ride will have to pick you up at 4 p.m. Also, don't forget to save the date. Student versus staff basketball game is the evening of November 14th. Make sure you buy your tickets in the counseling office. One more announcement from me. After school, archery begins Monday, November 4th for group one and Wednesday November 6th for group two. If you signed up and you don't know what group you're in, just ask your PE teacher. They'll know. Attention students, we are looking for energetic and outgoing students for Spirit Club. If you are interested in joining Plaza Spirit Club, please sign up in the counseling office by the end of the day Friday. Spirit Club members will be active in assemblies, much like the students were in last week's student versus staff basketball game. Assembly. Don't forget to bring in donations for the team baskets and or mustard, kellish, Do mustard not ketchup forget. relish raffle drawing. Basket donations are due November 11th. We will accept raffle donations until the day of the student versus staff basketball game. All proceeds go to the Salvation Army and the school. The team basket themes are the Heroes, Crafts, Incredibles, Mizzou, Knights, K-State, Legends, Chiefs, Royals, Mavericks, and Sporting KC, the Novas, Barbecue, Olympians, Kansas University, Phoenix, Family Game Night, and Movie Night, and Thunderbirds, Dog Lovers. Now here is two of the seven habits. Think win-win. Think win-win means that you find a way to make everyone happy. You think win-win when you share something. Thinking win-win is important because if you didn't think win-win, you would uh, argue with your partner and then not get assignments finished. Seek first to understood, stand, and then be understood. Seeking first to understand, then to be understood, means to listen to other people's input and to give your own. You seek first to understand, then to be understood. When you listen to someone else's ideas in a group, seeking first to understand, then to be understood is important because if you didn't, Seek to first understand, then to be understood. You wouldn't listen to other people's ideas. What's wrong? Uh, I'm just thinking, what does it take to get a floating head some food around here? Well, you gotta go to the cafeteria, and then the cafeteria they're serving today spooky chicken nuggets or hot roll My or biro, and Big Daddy pizza for the premium meal. And mm. sides are sweet potato fries, corn, fresh apple slices, and funnel cake spider webs. Did you say funnel cakes with spider webs on top? Yep. Oh, my favorite dessert. Now it's time for Fleshy, Fleshy Thursdays. Thursdays. Am I on? Hey Plaza, how you doing this wet and drippy Thursday morning? I didn't get the memo of floating head today. I guess I should have realized it's Halloween. And before we get to the weather, I guess who better to bring you the news of the Cardinals losing the World Series than me? I guess it's kind of fitting that I have to report the sad news, but yes, they lost last night. If you are unaware, they lost six to one. It was not much of a game and so Congratulations, Boston. They had a good year, but so did the Cardinals. 
and they'll be back there next year. All right, uh, some other sports scores. College football or some more depressing news. Missouri lost a thriller and stunner at home on homecoming in double overtime, 27-24 to South Carolina. Okay, you lost as well. Baylor's just putting up ridiculous amounts of points. Baylor scored 59. They beat them 59-14. K-State fans, though, you guys won 35-12 over West Virginia. Iowa State, sorry, Mr. Sheriff, you're, uh, you're 0 for 4 in the Big 12. is probably going to continue. Uh, you lost this past week, 58-27. And you Nebraska fans, like I said, just kind of some depressing college football scores as well. You lost a heartbreaker to Minnesota, 34-23. But some good pro football scores. Those Chiefs, they just keep on rolling. They're 8-0. They beat Cleveland 23-17. They're the number one power-ranked team in the NFL, according to NFL analysts. And my Green Bay Packers, I was there in attendance Sunday night in Minnesota. It was pretty awesome. They won 44-31 over those dreaded Vikings. All right, let's get to this drippy, drippy Thursday Halloween. Well, it wouldn't be Halloween without rain. I think it rains every year on Halloween, so we keep right with that dreary, drippy Thursday Halloween. 52 right now. It is humid out, so maybe even if it's raining tonight, it won't be too cold. It's uh, supposed to be up to maybe close to 70 today. 68 is a high. So, of course, our precipitation percentage is 100 because it's already raining. Now here, this says it's only gonna to get to 53, so I don't know quite what's going on with the high today, but it's pretty humid, so hopefully it won't be too cold tonight if you're doing some trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. Hopefully tomorrow this rain stops. We got some sunshine coming, upper 50s, maybe into the low 60s this weekend, so hopefully we get some sun and get all this wet weather dried up and out. Birthdays, Daniel Bernison of the Incredibles and Austin Favola of the Legends. Happy birthday. And of course, it's your birthday. Make sure you get that birthday pencil. And what is the birthday up to? The birthday pencil up to? Well, of course, trick or treating. Hopefully, the birthday pencil will get some goodies. We got any animations? There we go. Oh, cut. The birthday pencil cut in line. She's so eager to get that Halloween candy that she. She's not taking, she's not waiting her turn, Plaza. I'd like to get calm. Oh, I like the brought to you by today. Keep calm and give me candy. And then a lot of jack-o'-lanterns. All right. Plaza, that was your sports and some weather. As always, Plaza, stay classy. Here is Dr. Ivy. Well, happy Halloween. I have my Halloween shirt on. See, it's all glittery. Saying happy Halloween. I have a twin out there. See if you can find my twin. There's a twin on the plaza staff today. I have positive acts of kindness. So I'm going to jump right into that because the birthday pencil wouldn't have gotten a positive act for doing something not very polite by not waiting their turn for trick or treating. Please, tonight, if you are out and about, it's dark. Uh, make sure that you're being safe. This night is one of those nights that. I enjoy the festivities, but I also um, am always concerned that I want to make sure all my Plaza Tigers come back tomorrow and everybody's safe. So please make good decisions tonight. Please, if you're out and about, that you're um, not running across the street or darting in between cars, that you are being a good role model and they'll say, hey, that, I bet that's a Plaza Tiger over there because they are um, being respectful and responsible but still having a good time. So please remember your safety. All right, pl uh, positive acts. Katie Wood of The Hero. She helped someone by picking up the, uh, someone else's supplies when the bell rang. Good job, Katie. Emma Will of The Legends. Emma helped somebody with math. Way to go, Emma. Sophie Bonham of The Legends. Helped somebody with math. Good job. Ariana Galero uh, of The Legends invited a student sitting alone to sit with her at a table um, in the cafeteria. Way to go. Uh, Danielle Bowie of The Incredibles helped a student in the cafeteria. That always makes me happy. Uh, Calvin Fields of The Incredibles walked a student to the nurse. I really appreciate that where you have, a, where the, buddy, have the buddy system going on. Evelyn Hill of The Incredibles helped when a binder fell and broke. That sometimes happens. You might be watching the sales for some new school supplies. 
Alex Schmitz of the Knights um, lends somebody 25 cents that needed an extra quarter. Alicia Willis of the Novas stood up for me and carried my stuff when I needed it. Way to go. That really makes me proud today. And Ben Klopp of the Heroes, he is really nice and he's always nice to others. He actually had two in there. So all of you, you will have a certificate to sit at the high top with a friend. Um, and I'll put that in your team teacher's box. So today, everyone have a great day. Work hard. Be bringing in those things for the baskets. I don't know which one I'm going to um, bid on in the silent auction because, of course, there's K-State. Of course, there's all the Royals and Chiefs and sporting things. So be bringing all that stuff in, and we'll be building those in the coming weeks. So have a great day today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Man, those Chiefs are doing good. They can't have a losing season. I know, right? Let's make today count. It's a great, a great day, day to be a Tiger. Rawr!